Hello everyone, in this video I am going to talk about how to use the level tool. The level tool is available in adjustment mode when you open the global adjustment tools panel. There is a level tool. Or if you switch to edit mode you can add a level tool adjustment layer. So click on add adjustment layer and select level. The level tool will be added as a layer. But what is the level tool for? If you have a particularly dark or underexposed image, you might want to make the, the midtones and highlights brighter while keeping the shadows relatively dark. The levels tool can move and stretch brightness levels in a histogram using three main components a black point slider, white point slider, and a midtone slider. The position of the black and white point sliders redefine the histogram input levels so they are mapped to the output levels. Here you can see on the histogram above. The default black has zero value, white has 255, whereas the midtone slider redefines the location of the middle gray, which has a default value 128. Levels can be performed on an individual color channel by changing the options R, G or B for red, green and blue. Or, or using all color channels at once selecting the RGB icon. It is possible to redefine the color using the available presets also. Select the preset from the level preset drop down list that best suits the selected photo. Can be flat, standard, medium contrast or strong contrast. You can also enable extra mid-tone controls by clicking on this icon here. We can use also the level tool on grayscale image also, turn on black and white, in this case we will able to change the intensity of the pixels. Here you can see the histogram of a low key scene, as you can see the image contains mainly dark shades. It is displayed on the histogram as a higher pikes on the left side. The second image is a high key scene. The histogram is showing that the colors from the image resides mainly on the right side. The third image is a mid-tone photo. Most of the time our camera meter will attempt to expose for this average brightness when in automatic mode. All color values are not too dark or too light in the histogram. A histogram can also describe the amount of contrast. Contrast is a measure of the difference in brightness between light and dark areas in a scene. Narrow histograms reflect less contrast and may appear flat or dull. Images which do not extend the field the entire tonal range often look washed out. Whereas broad histograms reflect a scene with significant contrast. When considering adjusting the black or white point levels of your histogram, Ask yourself, is there any region in the image which should be completely black or white? And does the image histogram show this? Look at the histogram here. It can be seen that the histogram contains black, but not true white. So I can push white point slider to the edge of the histogram. In this way, the image will contain white color with 255 value. Now open the color balance tool and select the most whitest region. The image immediately looks better. If I move back the white slider to the original position, you may notice that the selected white changed to shade of grey. I move back to the histogram edge, the white is pure white again. On other hand, be wary of developing a habit of simply pushing the black and white point slider to the edges of the histogram, without also paying attention to the content of your image. One should also be cautious when moving the black and white point sliders to the edge of the histogram, as these can easily clip the shadows and highlights. You can highlight the over or underexposed areas using this icon here. When highlights are clipped, the pixels are white with no detail. Moving the midtone slider compresses or stretches the tones to the left or right of the slider depending on which direction it is moved. Movement to the left stretches the histogram to the, its right and compresses the histogram to its left, whereas movement to the right performs the opposite. Therefore, the midtone slider's main usage is to brighten 
or darken the midtones within an image. Any process which stretches the histogram has the potential to cause posterization. Stretching can be caused by techniques such as levels and curves. The best objective tool to detect posterization is the histogram. Sign of posterization on the histogram looks as vertical spikes. If you enable show over or underexposed tool, almost the whole image will be full of, or of over and underexposed regions. When shadows are clipped, the pixels are black with no detail. When highlights are clipped, the pixels are white with no detail. The best way to ward off posterization is to keep any histogram manipulation to a minimum. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more and see you in the next time. Bye.